Hey, my name is Ben Smith, and today I'm gonna be making over my room all with a budget of just $100. Wish me luck. I know what you're thinking. He's an aesthetic guy. His room can't be that bad. Well, about that. This was my room a year ago. It started off pretty bad. You see, I was hoping for a natural room glow up, sort of like what happened to me. Anyway, my room aesthetic sort of tailed off, and this is what it looks like now. Boring, bland, empty, lonely, sad, depressed, void, lacking of character, charm, and personality. And you see, well, I'm a personality guy. For having grown up with two dads, I needed to pull together my self-respect. I had to make over my room. So here's the plan. First, to make the room vibey. And second, to not spend too much. So the plan is to add some shelves, energy, color, plants, and, and, uh, uh, and whatever else is shown in this picture. Also, we recently passed 1,000 subscribers. That means a lot, so thanks so much. We have been in Home Depot for four hours now. It's been a painful process, but we've made progress. We've got some wood. I'm out here in Brooklyn, and one of my favorite activities to do on Sunday towards the end of the month is to walk around the streets and just look for free things. And I have come across a treasure. Okay, so it is literally on top of my back right now. Look how good this looks. Just uh, found a bunch of amazing stuff. Got a chair, got some bookshelves. What else over here? We got some, okay, that's most of the junk. Oh, there's a nice jacket, though. What a nice jacket. One man's trash is another man's treasure, you know? That is definitely true for here. I just got some art. I'll show you in a second. I found a lot of this art on the street. Look at this. This is a giant piece, too. I'm gonna put this up in my office, maybe. Perfect for my room. Some vases. Organization. My dad likes picking up things on the street as well, and he found all of these frames over the course of a couple weeks. Perfect for my room. Main wall, and there's nothing on it. That's all gonna change today. Roya is behind the camera, she's helping me. Glad that you're here. Let's see what we can do. In the Home Depot, there was a piece of pine wood that simply wanted to become its shelf. This is their story. We just screwed these in, but we need to find level. Unless we want to be sort of like avant-garde. Mm. That would actually be cool, right? <laughs> Thoughts from the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is stud finder. Cool. If you ever need to uh, find me, just press this. <laughs> I made a really funny TikTok about that. Not funny. It's funny! <laughs> the camera needs to know. These are the anchors so that the shelf is strong. In honor of Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> yeah, if you can just hold it in the middle. Wow! Look at it! The first look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Straight out of an Ikea show. First look at the new shelf right there. It's beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So how, how do you rate the shelf? Seven. 9.5 out of 10. Wow. Not a perfect. 9.5 is pretty good. Close. I think that was a success for the day. I've been feeling very inspired because of all the YouTube DIY stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out which artwork works well together. The artwork is not exactly matching, which is okay if there's lots of contrast. So now it's time to hang this on the wall. 
Okay, so I just hung this, and this is actually from the street. My dad found a frame on the street, and then I put them together, and now they're on my wall, so. And then these two pieces of artwork right here were also found on the street. Two Basquiat frames. My dad found these in Park Slope, and now they're gonna be on my wall. Um, is it for my shelf? Yes. Wow. Ta-da. what I've always wanted in my room, so. Never it is. <laughs> you can always look at it every night when you feel lonely. Okay, so there it is. I really like all of this color. This is gonna be really nice for videos. Also, it's just fun to look at. Okay, so now I need to finish out this. I think I might have to buy some more plants as well. Let's see what we can do for now. These will work. Okay, come in. Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? I love it. I love the paperclip idea. Your sister looks so cute. Dude, That's it's so it. good that you put your art. Yeah. Oh. And guess guess where all of this art is from? The street, the street, the street, the street. Wow. So next up is this space. This is a little nook area right when you walk in my friend gave me this print and it's by a cool local artist her name is amy tai and then my dad actually found this frame on the street we're just making so much progress on the room today Damn. are you being real are you being real yeah i am you put this up i put that up first look there oh who, who gave me that print I gave you this, bro. This is vibey, right? Dude, it feels homey. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I like that you can look. You can mm, look at what a review. So, I had this piece of wood left over. What I'm gonna do, or attempt to do, is... There. All right, so imagine you open up the door and then you look at this right here. And you grab your keys. Hang it right there. Voila. I call this keyboard. Today's agenda is to put up the shelf right over here above my bed, and then to finally put some artwork right in the middle. Stay with me and let's see how it looks. I'm going to be using three brackets that look like this. Yeah, his room I is room gold. So nice. His room is room gold. Uh, you okay? Yes. <laughs> wow. My cousin Gabe made this painting. He's an artist. All coming together. <laughs> and I'm very sweaty now, right Roya? Thanks for the help, Roya. Hell yeah. that space right up there just to make it look cool so we'll see I found this glass vase on the street yeah that looks good Why don't you tell us who, who you are? What I... This is plant expert <laughs> Shabani. An Not... aficionado. <laughs> A house plant expert. How do plants make you feel in your room? They make me feel very happy. And I'm not saying this because I'm a plant person, but honestly, it adds like so much life to my room. Hmm. And I really like that. 
taking inspiration from from this over here. This eucalyptus. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this would be a nice texture over my bed if I just put it in something. Oh, absolutely, fifty dollars. It's like more than half of my size. Probably gonna be like hundred dollars in like a. That reaction is really tempting me. <laughs> you, you are really excited. In one line, you know. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Doing it? I'm I'm, I'm committing. I'm committing. Get a chair. Shabani, what do they call nice young men that have plants? Plant dad. Plant dad. Plant daddy. <laughs> With this I, I think the daddy sounds weird. Just plant dad. <laughs> yeah, just a plant dad. I'm a plant dad. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be my partner in crime in my room. So. Very nice. Very beautiful partner exciting, in crime. Exciting. We, you yeah. wanted something else, but you totally got something else. I was open-minded, and Shivani convinced me that this was a True great love. deal, and it was calling my name. Need some tender love and care. Okay, so I've got this bucket here, and I need to drill a hole in it, right? Look at that. Okay, this is a giant plant. Okay, so this is my quest. I'm trying to make this paint bucket aesthetic. Not so easy. Ironically, a paint bucket can't actually be painted because it's too slick, the surface, so the paint will just chip off. But after having made so many trips to hardware stores and Home Depot, I do have all of these. It's time for your room tour. Right now? Yes! But I need to get ready. You need to get... Welcome to my room tour. So glad to have you here. Come on in. 